Yes. Yeah. Can you see the diagram, right? Yes. Okay. So basically, this is what we call as a touch point toolkit or touch point diagram for HCM module. So Workday has provided something called as a touch point, wherein we can see with the core module, which are all the other modules that it can be linked to, where we can get the data from, where we can send the data to, and all of it. Okay. So as you can see, we are looking at the HCM touch point diagram as HCM being the core of this particular uh, diagram, right? So HCM being the core for which all modules will be able to send the data and for which all modules we are getting the data from, right? So for most of the things, the only major places where we can get the data with all, uh, when we compare with all the other functional modules in Workday, is basically from the recruitment module. So you can see the arrow marks, which are the ones which are going outside the and the ones that are coming towards the HCM. One is a project which is not a uh, part of the Workday functional stream. The ones which we have over here, the one in the blues, everything, those are all the blue and the yellow ones mostly are the Workday functional streams, right? So what is the data that is going to come in from the recruitment is basically what we call as a prospect or the candidate data, right? So as part of recruitment, once the job requisition is posted, the, there'll be people who will be applying for those particular roles, right? So from the recruitment, we have something what we call as a recruitment funnel, wherein there are multiple stages or multiple steps as part of the recruitment process, wherein it starts with the overview. Once the employee, oh, I'm sorry, I mean, once the candidate applies for the job through the career portal, there'll be a candidate profile that will be created in the workday and that particular candidate data will be moved or will be linked from recruitment to the HCM module. So once the candidate applies, as I said, there'll be multiple process wherein it starts with a screening, wherein it might be a telephone, telephone screening, a resume screening, a recruiter screening, manager screening. We can set up multiple steps, how many ever we want to. And after that, they might be interviews. Again, they, it'll be a first round of interview, the managerial round of interview, director round of interview, and all of it. Once all this is done, once the interview process, everything is done, we have next step, which is the offer generation. So everything, so all this process is going to be done in the recruitment end. It will be linked to the candidate profile. And whenever there is an update happens for that particular candidate, it will be rolled into the HCM. So once the offer is generated, might be the employee, uh, the candidate accepts it. Once the candidate accepts, there might be a background verification process, the general recruitment process, right? There might be a background verification. Once the background verification, everything is done, the next and the major one where the candidate will be getting converted as a employee is where the hire process will be initiated. So hire process is the first and foremost business process in the Workday core HCM module, right? That is a major business process. What we look at, we have other business processes as well. So basically when we say business process, it is a process flow. So when I say hire business process, consider the process flow might be the recruiter initiates a hire process. Once the recruiter initiates, it will go to the manager for the review. Then it will go to the compensation administrator to update the compensation details and then there might be a next step to update the one-time bonus for the candidate so when an employee joins there might be uh, a joining bonus that we get right in most of the organizations so that again will be set up by the compensation partner so once the compensation admin updates all the details then consider it might go to the hr partner for the review and the approval so once the hr partner reviews it might go to the final manager plus one for the final approval Right. So all this process is a part of the higher business process. This, so these are all the steps. So how we can configure that higher business process based on the requirement, we can update the business process flow accordingly. Right. So it starts with the recruitment and that is the reason we have an inbound or a linking data that is coming from recruitment into the core HCM. So the first one, so we are done with the recruitment. So now once the recruitment is done, what are the next steps that the 
employee will do. So the employee has joined the organization. So now it's a full-time employee. So there are two types of uh, workers that we can set up in Workday. The first one is an employee type. And the second one is a contingent worker type. So basically when we say contingent workers, these are the third party payroll employees, basically are contractors. So they'll be working for our organization, but the payment uh, or the salary for those people will be paid through a third party vendor. So those we call them as contingent workers in workday terminology. And the next other type, which I said is a employee. This is where we'll, we can set up a sub employee types. Basically a regular is an employee type. Then apart from regular, few organizations might have an employee type as an intern. Few organizations might have an employee type, uh, basically considered as a, you know, a regular fixed term employees. So, which means they are regular, but they'll be working for a particular period of time. So all these can be the subtypes of a employee worker type. So basically the worker types are two, which is employee and the contingent worker. And again, after that, we have a sub employees and a sub contingent worker types based on the requirements. So now once the employee is joined, then what are the basic things that the employee will do once they join the organization? The first thing, update all their data their profile data, everything we do tend to update, right? In few of the organizations. So all that data, like the personal information, emergency contacts, then um, the employee wants to update the skills which they have or their previous work experience. They want to load everything into the system. All that will be done basically as part of the core HCM module. So the personal information changes, the contact changes, all those stuff. Then. The next one, apart from this, as I said, the employee wants to update their job history, their work experience. They want to uh, update their skills. They want to update uh, the competencies which they have knowledge on, or they want to say, okay, these are all the things that I'm interested in. Uh, and those are, these are the ones which I'm looking at in the organization, like a short-term goals, uh, short-term plans, long-term plans, whether they're interested to travel. And if they're interested to travel, how much they're like, whether they want to travel like 25% in the, in a year or they're uh, okay with like a half half sitting for 50% and the remaining 50% they're okay to travel. So all those details will be updated through the talent module. So that's when you can see we have an outgoing arrow from HCM to talent. The reason being everything. So when, if an employee wants to update all these details, which we have, which I have mentioned earlier, there should be a employee profile created in Workday and where we create the employee profile through the HCM module as part of the hire process or in the supervisory organization, which we again create as part of the HCM module. So once the employee updates all the talent data, then the next is there'll be few mandatory trainings that the employee needs to complete within the first 30 days of the joining or within the first 60 days of the joining or 90 days. So there'll be few mandatory courses that they have to complete, right? So all those will be done through the learning module, right? So we have a learning module wherein we can create the courses within Workday. We can have few of the people set as an instructors so we can create them as an instructors. And then for creating the instructors, again, the worker data is going to flow from HCM into the learning. And then the employee can access the learning, search for the courses in the tenant, enroll for the courses, complete it. And once it is completed, again, that learning data, the completion status of those courses are going to come and sit in the worker profile, which is again, part of the core HCM. So now the trainings are done, the mandatory trainings are done and the next one, the major one that is going to be is the appraisal, which is part of the performance. So we have a performance module again, wherein the worker data will be flowed in into this respective module and the employee will have an option to update their goals, which are the goals for the particular year. If there is any organization goals, which are set up by the management, those will come and sit in the employee profile and 
once the employee set up the goals and everything they might be a few milestones which they say okay these are like a short term goals that you know uh, wherein i can collate all this and where i can show it as a uh, final goal for the complete financial year and for example consider there are few development plans that are set up between uh, by the employee which is discussed by the man with the manager and then those development plans or the development areas are something which is again going to be sitting in the performance area then there'll be a discipline reactions wherein for example the employee has done some mistake and the hr wants to initiate the discipline reaction process again which that will be part of the performance right so once the performance rating is done so there'll be a annual performance cycle which there'll be a performance review process as part of the performance module and the employee will be given a rating based on the complete performance flow right where the employee first will go and update all the details update the goals update the skills each and everything the status what are the achievements that they have achieved uh, what are the feedbacks that they have got from the other managers or the other projects which they have worked with from the customers everything so once the employee updates all these details there'll be a review for the manager wherein the manager can go and review and say that okay all these are good and the manager will have an option to get additional review from a different people or they can uh, request for a feedback from other managers in a confidential manner wherein it will be visible only for the manager and not for the employee and based on all that the employee will first self assign themselves and they'll rate themselves telling you okay i consider there is a five star rating the employee will say okay i want to give myself like a 4 or 4.5 and then when it goes for the manager review the manager assessment part the manager will be able to view what is the self assessment or the self rating that the employee has given to themselves and then based on that based on the offline discussions that the happens the manager will be able to provide their own rating and once the manager provides as you know it will go for the employee to acknowledge it telling that okay there is a rating that the manager has given you are you okay with this and then once the employee acknowledges there'll be a managerial acknowledgement as well so with that the complete performance data is done and everything mo every part of this performance is going to be done on the worker profile the next one uh, once the performance is done the major one is what is the hike that the employee is going to get right so we'll be looking at okay what is the hike that i'm going to get what is the bonus i'm going to get all that is going to be coming from the compensation module where the performance rating will be linked or merged from the performance module to the compensation so when i say compensation in compensation we have two different uh, stages one is the core compensation where we set up the basic salary the pay ranges everything for the employee and the second one is what we call as advanced compensation where we set up the merit process merit process is nothing but setting up you know the bonus pay ranges and everything for the annual appraisal cycle so this performance rating that is sent from the performance module will be linked to this merit process and based on the system that is set up the managers or whoever is given access to to update this merit for the employee the and uh, the salaries and then the bonus for the employees they'll be able to view okay the employee is falling under the four star rating so what is the pay range for four star might be around 8 to 10% what is it for the three uh, three star it might be around like you know uh, 5 to 8% in that way so all that can be set up in this advanced compensation module which is uh, the merit process and based on that one for example the employee got promotion so again the promotion is something which is going to be done through the hcm process okay so the promotion is again part of core hcm so wherein whenever there is a promotion for example the employee has been promoted from manager to a director or director to a partner so basically the benefits that they are going to get are going to be varied right so for that again the worker data with the promotion whatever the changes has been made with effective date that data will be sent to the benefit module to see okay what is the current package for the employee which is coming from the compensation what is the current role of the employee and what is the effective date for that and if the employee have any promotion 
what are the additional benefits that the employee is going to get apart from the benefits what they have all those will be updated through this benefit section the benefit module right and then the next one that we have is the time tracking and the absence wherein we have the worker data that is sent and based on the setup that is done on the absence for the respective country what are the number of leaves that the employee is going to get the paid leaves the sick leaves what are the public holidays uh, how many leaves can be carry forwarded from the last year to the present year how many leaves are you know uh, lapsed if there is a pay that is going to be for this lapsed leaves all those details will be updated through this time tracking and the absence modules so any questions 